Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. So this is a beaver city builder. Look how many beavers we have beavering away. They're all carrying logs and barrels and, and they're hungry. Oh god, I forgot they were hungry. So in this game we have turned a once barren landscape into a thriving beaver community. Complete with water pumps, which allow us to store drinking water. Carrot farms, which allow us to store food. But uh, yeah, that's, that's not going too well at the moment. Water wheels, which power our industrial machinery down here. Which allow us to make planks, gears and sheets of metal. We've also got some forestry going on to keep our wood supply up. We've got a couple of beavers down here mining at some old ruins. That's Sonolco and Mick Higgy. But last time we invested in these engines. Yes, an industrial revolution is happening. This will allow us to power sawmills and gear workshops even through the dry season. We also completed our mega dam down here, which should allow us in the dry season, when the river dries up, we should have all of this water stored, meaning we can continue pumping water throughout the dry season and none of our beavers will go thirsty. However, they may go hungry because food is a big problem. Now last time I built a new farmhouse and I got very confused by this symbol which says this building isn't connected to any district center by paths and what I failed to realize despite building two paths is that my district center here when you click on it it has a range and as you can see the range literally finishes right next to the farm so annoyingly I sort of built that in the wrong place. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do as I've got the path up here now I'm actually going to destroy this. No I'm not. No I'm not. I'm not going to destroy anything. I'm going to do something even better. Now I haven't touched this before so this could go very badly but what I want to do I want to come down to paths and structures here. If I click on that I now have a choice of various different things we can build but I want to build this a new district center. So if we click on that, I don't know what it costs to build. I don't know what those icons are. Are they beavers or what are they? I don't know. Let's try and build one anyway and see what it says. Are we going to plonk this up there? Oh, but we can't because it says districts must be separated by a gate. So we need to build a district gate first. And essentially, if we destroy this path, then we can plonk that in there. And you see this splits the district. So now this district here, it will finish there. So if we put our new district center here, we now have a new district. But our district has no beavers. We need to migrate some population. And what I feel like doing, this district center, we're going to call these the Patreons. They are my Patreon supporters. And our new district is not District 2. These are the YouTube members. Yep, let's show some love to the YouTube members. They don't, they don't receive enough love. So any beaver that is born in this district will be named after a YouTube member. Uh, but first we need to migrate some population. Now, I don't really know how this works. I think we can migrate two adults over there. Right, so here come my new district beavers. We've got Townshbone, who is my longest YouTube member. 11 months of support. Thank you so much. And you will be planting carrots, hopefully with enough time to start feeding the Patreons. But I think, although it's the dry season and 0.8 days, very scary. I think because we got such a big reservoir here, this area should stay green, meaning we should be able to produce some food soon. Meanwhile, we've also got this guy who's in our new district. You're just sat on your ass. You're not doing a lot, are you? What's your name? Custard Guts. You're meant to be a builder and you're just sat on your ass, literally doing nothing. Like, look, there's two things to be built here. What is going on? What is going on? And now you're hungry. What a surprise. <laughs> What a surprise. <laughs> right, anyway, with the dry season approaching and food still lacking, I'm going to pause all of these breeding pods because uh, these use up berries and berries can be eaten. So anyway, not, oh, we've only got 17 food. Thankfully, we're going to be able to keep producing food throughout the dry season, but we will need to stop producing water. We got a thousand water though, so that should be fine. Let's just check we got enough farmers. So we've got Samuel Valdez and John Garcia, Logan and Jonathan Rama, Zach and oh, no one in this one. Let's pause a scientist. So will pause you. Now, lukewarm tea, you're, you're now a farmer. And this final one, Mondari, pursue crow, right. So we should be maxing our food capacity down here. <gasps> Look, these are potatoes. Potatoes are growing. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So let's unpause this farmhouse and unpause this grill. And we need three new workers. So... I'm going to pause another scientist. Oh, I think I'm going to pause three scientists. So hopefully now down here. Yep, Bebop Turtle and Sam Fultz, they're now going to be farming. They should start harvesting potatoes. Uh, but no one's in the grill. Why is no one in the grill? Why is no one in the grill? Anyway, so it's only 0.4 days until the dry season. So let's pause this water because we really don't want to be pumping water in the dry season. Not from up here anyway, because all of this area will go brown. Meaning we won't be able to farm any carrots. All right, it's down here now. Do we have... Yes, Bayleaf Walker is now the griller of potatoes. And I haven't really looked at this building, but 
it is pretty cool looking. All right, I've moved Custard Guts from the Builder Post. He's now a Lumberjack. Because basically, because it's a new district, it doesn't share resources. They're all sort of separate. Um, so not ideal. I'm, I'm a bit worried they might die without food. <laughs> now, I know there are, there are some ways of sharing food. So yeah, I think with these two things, the distribution post and the drop-off point. Uh, but there, there's literally zero food. So, <laughs> oh, so this could go really badly. Let's see how hungry is a beaver. Yeah, hunger is pretty critical. I tell you what, because I don't want Townjabone to die, I'm actually going to migrate both of these guys back to the patrons because uh, there's literally zero chance of them getting food there. So there's a bit more chance over here. But first, we got, we got to make it through the night. All right, and here you go. The drought has started. And as you've probably seen before, you'll see the river dries up. And as that happens, all the green area behind sort of dries out and goes all brown. Uh, but down here, because we've got a dam placed here, this remains nice and green. And that's why I've turned off my water pumps. Actually, the, I know that the water is going to stop spinning soon. So I should probably pause all of these powered buildings. Now, I'll keep them going for now as everything's spinning. But essentially, I think everyone's going to become scientists. It's sort of the, uh, the seasonal summer job, a scientist. <laughs> yeah, but, oh no! <laughs> Challenge bone! <laughs> he died of hunger. Oh, I'm so sorry, my YouTube member. <laughs> You, you were alive for like five seconds. I shouldn't laugh. I really shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, down here, look, you can see, you can see in our potato grill. The smoke is coming out, which means we're cooking some spuds. Now, the important thing to remember is this, is it takes fuel. It does take logs to fuel this. So it looks like for every potato, you need a tenth of a log. And that will produce four grilled potatoes, which is very decent. So that could save the hunger crisis. Look, we got two grilled potatoes already. Maybe it's even worth doing another one of those. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. We'll put in another grill. Put that on the highest priority so that gets built quickly. And then in our plant crops thing down here, we can say potato, plant some more potatoes. Nice. I'm also thinking because we've got a lot of water, I might turn these pumps off. So you can see as they pump, the water level is going down and it started up there. It's already down to that level. I don't think I want it to go too low because then these areas will dry out. So yeah, I'm actually going to pause them. And maybe I'll look at trying to get my other district powered up and raring to go. Because I can't really do anything more with food now. It's just, it's in their own hands. Somehow, this water wheel is still spinning. I have no idea why. Right, so if we go into labour, as night is setting, we've got a distribution post and a drop-off point. I'm not entirely sure how this works, if I'm honest. Like, do my builders still... They do. They can still build up here. So do I just build a drop-off point up here? So if I unlock that for 250 science, yeah. Can I just place that there? And then district distribution limit. Oh, I can say what we want. Right, okay. So I've just said bring over 30 carrots, 30 grilled potatoes, 50 logs, 12 planks, and 100 water. And everything else I've made zero. So that should start being filled up soon, I think. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I need this first, the distribution post. I think I probably will. I don't know, we'll give it a day or so and we'll see if anything arrives in that district. But at the moment, everyone's sort of staying over there. All right, so meanwhile, I think we're about a day into our drought and we've used, probably used like 100 water up. The water's still going up. Have I left a pump on somewhere? No, I think they're just moving stock from the pumps, are they? No, I don't know why, why, why is water going up? That's a bit worrying. How is this water wheel still spinning as well? <laughs> well, anyway, it looks like nothing is getting over to this district. So we're going to have to go into labor and build a distribution post. So yes, we'll unlock that for 250 science. And oh god, this building is huge. Where can we build this? Oh my god, it literally doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, I'll tell you what, I really want to get over this span and maybe start building over here. So we got to work out how many blocks is that. It's one, two, three, four. So if we come into here with 800 science, we can unlock a suspension bridge four by one. I think we're going to do it. We're actually going to do a bridge. Finally, come on then, unlock. Nice. And then we can shove that there. And then the distribution post can come over here. So we'll plonk that there. Connects up with a path. Nice, now it's the next morning. We should see some beavers come over to here and hopefully start building it. Alright, so there's a couple carrying logs. Yes. Clueless Clown, Zach, Attack MD, Sevens. They're all building a bridge. I am so proud of you. 
Now the bridge takes logs, planks and metal blocks. I'm not even sure we've used metal blocks for anything apart from potentially the engines. So yeah, looking up here, we've got nearly 200 of those. So 20 should be easy. Planks, you've got a load of those. And logs, we've got 200. So yeah, that should be fine. Uh, but, oh goodness, we had four deaths. Mondu Calera, Aaron Mackey, Logan Scrauf and OC Deer, they all died of old age. Which means we're down to just 67 beavers. Uh, so I might have to fiddle with the old jobs because no one is in this grill. So I think haulers, we can lower you guys down a bit. Right, there we go. Clueless Clown has just got in the grill and he's turned on the cooker. The smoke is rising and thankfully our food is rising. We're on 100 food now, so that is fantastic. <gasps> and look, we've built a bridge and they're using it. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Look, they're carrying logs across the bridge. Because uh, they're building this, which takes 30 logs and 15 planks. So uh, that should be done in no time as well. So we'll fast forward that. I can't believe how lucky we are to get positive food again. I think the potatoes literally saved our ass completely. Oh, you know what's quite annoying? I've just realised our farm, it doesn't it doesn't extend down there. Why does it do that bit? That's well close. Oh, well, that's, that's annoying. So we've only got the spuds that we've got there, so... It is what it is. But look, this is done. So Dean Larson is in there. You can see him just sat in the doorstep. He's got his rucksack on. He's ready to go. That's not a snake. It did look like a snake. But oh no, he's, he's shop shop. It's home time. But let's configure this. So we've never used one of these before. Uh, but it distributes goods to other districts. So route. There's no routes established. So we can add a new route. So select drop off point. So we can select this one. We can select goods. Uh, let's start with... Water, I guess. Okay, so Dean Larson, he's working there on his own at the moment, but he's going to be taking over water, grilled potatoes, logs and planks to the YouTube members, uh, which, well, sadly, they, they don't actually exist at the moment. Yeah, but I think once the dry season is over, we'll migrate some people over and then they can start afresh. They're going to need some breeding pods as well. So maybe they are going to need berries, actually. So we'll come to this. We'll say we're going to need some berries, like 20 berries. And then we'll add a berry root as well. All right, it's down here. Our shredder lacks power, so we'll, we may as well pause that. Somehow this water wheel is still spinning, so these two are still powered. So we'll leave that going. But now we have one unemployed beaver, so you may as well become a distributor. So we've got Adam Bond and Anthony Avastia. Avastia? Avastia. And, uh, oh, look, we've got three unemployed beavers. Oh, we've got three unemployed beavers because three of them are just grown up. DK Smoke, Josh, and Koyakoy. <laughs> Uh, they've all grown up, so DK Smoke, you'll become a lumberjack down here. I think everyone else, you're going to be distributors because we want to get these guys over as quick as possible so they can start producing their own food and logs and all sorts. And I think what we'll do actually, we'll sort of we'll dig up a strip of carrots and then we'll actually plan to build a staircase up to there with a path. I think we'll even remove those as well. Because we want these guys to be self-sufficient, essentially. So we're going to build them a water pump. And yeah, we're going to mark these trees to be cut down. So like that. So now when the YouTube members move back in, they'll be able to cut all this down. And that will be the wood. Actually, actually, no, no, forget that. If we go bird's eye view, I remember someone said, if you want trees to sort of not just turn into a load of stumps like these ones, without planting them, you should like, I think we want to do something like this. And basically they said... Like natural trees, they produce saplings, like they multiply if there's adjacent trees next to them. So if we do like a checkerboard pattern, then hopefully this will like sort of stay self-sufficient. Nice, right. So how much how much stuff have they brought over to this place? Oh look, they've got water, they've got food, they got logs, and they got planks. Excellent, okay. So very soon we can think about migrating population over there. But for now, let's just fast forward a bit. And I'm loving the bridge. It is so cool. I want to build two. I assume I can span like really long spans with like back to back ones. That's definitely my aim anyway. So I think we might be able to span like 12. We just got to find somewhere we want to get to for 12. Right. So now if we come over to the YouTube member district, you can see they've got everything they asked for. So essentially all these jobs are worthless. So we may as well bring that down to just one. So Koi Koi, you're on your own. That looked like you were giving birth to other beavers. <laughs> Uh, we'll turn on these two inventor huts. We'll up a hauler just so we don't have any unemployed beavers. And then we've only got half day left. So let's fast forward. Let's get through the entire dry season. 
And, oh, but oh no. Piranity has died of old age. We've lost some beaver. Okay, I think it's time then. We need to turn these back on. We are definitely going to need a new generation pretty soon. We're down to 66 beavers. We've got no children. All right, and as you can see there, the drought has ended. This was our longest ever drought. I think essentially the mega dam saved us. But look, the water is coming back. So what I'm going to do is turn on all the water pumps again and try and stock back up. Turn those three on and we'll pause three science places. So who are the three beavers that pump their massive logs down here? We've got Super Bobbitch 2.0, Wooza, and Kimberly. They are all fantastic log pumpers. And I'm very proud of the how much wood you can pump in there. Uh, meanwhile, up here, you can see the river is flowing into this. So we can turn on these four. And we can also turn the shredder back on. Uh, but now we are massively, massively limited on jobs. So we've got to pause a lot of science, I think. Science is sort of the, I think it's like the most seasonal job we have. i tell you what, now all this birch has gone. I'm actually going to swap that for maples. And another commenter told me any square that has green in it can be planted. So we can really go right to the end of these and sort of maximize our planting area. Assuming he wasn't lying to me, of course. Cool. So that's, that's sort of all of our resources back under control, I think. Oh, we just had a load more death. Matt Nichols and Blue Fire Wolf have just died of old age. Uh, we're down to 64 beavers. This is really not good. I think we're going to wait for a few births before we go about moving any over to here. I think the new births, they will literally just come over here as kids. So this district is literally just going to be like Neverland. It's just going to be kid zone. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, we've got three new children. So you you guys, you're going to Neverland. So migrate population, and we want to send three kids over there. Migrate. Alright, so here we go. Here we are in Neverland. <laughs> we've got our kids just running wild. We've got Valentin, James Lee, and uh, the very aptly named Tom Younger. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I hope you survive long enough to grow up. I assume you can just, like, grab food out of here, can you? Yes, it looks like they've taken a grilled potato. And Koyokoi, who's age 10 now, has just dropped off some more supplies. So I think he's keeping you in business. Excellent. Right. It looks like storage is an issue again. So what we might do, I noticed in storage, we have a large warehouse that we haven't unlocked yet. It's got a thousand capacity compared to just the 200 of the small warehouse. So I really want to see what that looks like. So let's give it an unlock. 250 science. Chomp change. Oh, look at this build. What shape is that? Can anyone tell me what shape that is? <laughs> That is the strongest warehouse I've ever seen. Uh, so shall we plonk this over there? Yeah, I think we'll put you there and then we'll do a path over to you. And that should give us loads more storage. And people have to use the bridge, which is awesome. Uh, meanwhile, I think we finally got this area sorted. So with four farms, it looks like we're actually harvesting the entire crop before planting again, which is great news. Oh, Jordan Miller died of old age. But we got a new birth. So this is our new little beaver. He's going for a wander through town. And it's green rude fruit. You did tell me how to pronounce your name, but <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but a nice welcome to the gang. Do not worry, I'm not shipping you over to the YouTube members. You are going to be the only child of the Patreon district. All right, meanwhile, I'm sort of thinking if I want to keep this area green like all the time, is it worth building a mega dam? I feel like it's always worth building a mega dam. But if I'm going to build a dam here, I want to actually try something new. So these are called floodgates and you can raise and lower them to let water through. So for example, if we go for the triple, I think the triple because it's so high, we'll go for the triple floodgate. Now you can see it's that tall. So if we want to build that, we're going to need levees first. Now, thankfully, we've learned water can't flow diagonally in this game. So I don't actually have to build it in that square. I can build it against that wall. So I think I might do that. I've just got to be careful over this side. All right, let's build it there. So we're going to do levees literally to the very top. And then for the triple floodgate, that's going to go there. And another one there. Right, so hopefully they should start building that. My only slight concern is, like, how do they actually build, how do they get to it? But uh, details, details, I'm sure I'm sure they'll work it out. They're engineers, they're beavers. Uh, we are very short on logs, though, like really short on logs. Is there anything we can do about that? Not at the moment. Oh, the only thing I've just sort of realized is <laughs> with our adjustable thing, we're actually going to flood these trees. 
Thankfully they're adjustable, so we can lower them. So I think what I'll do, I'll lower them. We'll log all of these, and then we'll raise the water level back up. Alright, here you go. Did you see that? If you blinked, you may have missed it. <laughs> but look, this guy here, Sevens, he's building the dam. From up there, he has the power to build down there. He's already placed three logs, so nice. The mega... I called I called this the mega dam, because uh, it does... It is holding back a lot of water, but I feel like this is going to be truly the mega mega dam. What's, what's after mega? Is it like super? The super dam! Oh, we've also had four new births as well. So now we've got eight children. So welcome Fabrizi and Raven the Depressed. I'm sorry you're feeling a bit blue. It's, it's sort of a greeny colour, if that makes any difference. But nice, things are actually looking really good again for a change. Food is up, water is up, even beavers are up. We got three homeless beavers. Oh, that's these guys. I've just realised there's no there's no houses over here. Um, but no one's capable of building houses for you. You need to grow up first, guys. Just grow up. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to start planning some of their stuff over here. So we're going to do a path over there. I want to do two things. Up here, I think out the back of these trees, I want to build a log pile. And down the side of here, I want to build some breeding pods. Maybe three. And then maybe we'll build you some housing as well. No, we won't do housing. We're going to keep we're going to keep things like as essential as they need to be to start. Yeah, we're really struggling for logs. What I might do, because I don't think we need planks at the moment, I might actually pause this lumber mill. Look, custard guts is in there. We're going to pause you. We're going to keep the gear workshop going because we've got planks stored up. But uh, really, I just want to keep building this dam. There you go. They're all building it now. You can see. Look, they've built the first, first part of the dam. Oh, man, I'm really quite excited by the super dam. It's going to be, it's going to be incredible. And as I was, just, I was just looking over my bridge, I was like, oh, what a good bridge. And I noticed over in the background, <gasps> they've grown up. Our YouTube members, they've actually started building. So we've got one builder, one farmer, and one lumberjack for now. And I think what we might do, we might prioritize a breeding pod so that these can sort of become self-sufficient. Because poor Koyakoy here is just transporting so many goods. Like, not even his kids. He's not even related to him. He's a patron. He's not a YouTube member. Yeah, but yeah, find out what happens next time. Will the Super Dam be complete? Peace, love, and literally bridges. Bye, guys.